Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the brand new vocal multiplier plugin, the Howard Benson vocal multiplier plugin from Joey Sturgis Tones. Now, I am basically flying completely blind on this one. I have yet to even try it out. I just installed it. And one of the reasons why I'm so interested in checking out this plugin is I have yet to find a vocal chorus or multiplier type plugin that I actually am 100% happy with. Typically when I mix vocals, there are always two time-based effects that I always place on vocals. The first is reverb, and the second is some sort of thickening effect, like a chorus or an ensemble, or in this case, a vocal multiplier plugin. This is a voice generation plugin. It's $59 right now. It's an audio multiplier and post-processing plugin created by Joey Sturgis Tones in collaboration with Howard Benson. It's an all-in-one tool that can go from a single vocal take to hundreds of vocal layers in seconds. So yeah, let's give this a shot and see how it works. I have a song here. This is an original song of mine. Uh, this is what the lead vocal in the first verse sounds like as is. I have several time-based effects on this track. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. For you, darling, when we tear down all these walls, just stay right here by my side. I'm never, I'm never. Okay, so let's add the Howard Benson plugin here. It's under Joey Sturgis Tones. Nice big interface. I'm on a 5K display right now, so let's try out some of these presets just to start. Let's see. Yeah, let's do uh, HB Vocal One. I'm just gonna solo the aux track that this is on. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. Wow, <laughs> that's really cool. So it's like a it's like a chorus ensemble multiplier. Plus, it adds like it's added a low octave. Yeah, I see a low octave here. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've Let's hear that in the mix. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. Okay, let's solo the multiplier and let's play around with some of these controls. So is there a wet dry control? I believe this is vo uh, multiplier volume and mute input. Okay, so this mutes the input signal and only plays the output or the processed signal. So if you're putting this directly on a channel, you would keep this mute input option on and you'd sort of blend in uh, the voices. But for me, I'm using it on an aux track, so there's no need to do that. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break. Okay, so you've got a filter you can apply to the signal. So if you just want the multiplier signal to maybe be band passed, you can cut some of the low end out or cut some of the high end out. I also love this mono low end option. So you don't end up with, you know, incompatible low end uh, mono material. Um, but let's take a look at some of the voice generation options. So we have depth rate. Uh, I'm assuming the rate is going to be like some sort of like pitch. Yeah, it's a pitch modulation effect. So this is probably like an LFO style pitch modulation effect. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. So if you want more of like a deep chorus effect, you'd pull up the depth and pull up the rate. Uh, the timing controls the range of variation in timing applied to each voice. I see. So this varies the timing of each of, of the voices coming out of the plugin. You've got it but you can't break free just sleep. one of the problems with uh, vocal choruses if, especially if they're big wide stereo effects is that 
if all of the chorus voices or all the multiplied voices all line up perfectly and then you go and you hit your mono button on your uh, on your uh, monitor controller or you listen to this in mono, some of those stereo voices can collide and cancel each other out. So by delaying the timing of the multiplied voices, this can make it almost like a slapback effect plus an ensemble or mo vocal multiplier effect. Let's listen to this again with the lead vocal back in. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. I feel That's really nice. Um... Let's go to the tone here. We have low and high. I'm assuming this is just like a tone shaper. Let's go ahead and bring in this low octave a bit. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. I feel for you, darling. Yeah, let's see what this sounds like in the mix. And I know someone's gonna say this, Josh, you don't, you're not supposed to mix without the music in. I, I'm probably one of the few people in the world that likes to hear the effect soloed and then I bring it into the mix. That's just the way I do things. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. Yeah, I may not actually use the uh, the plugin at that level in the mix. I'm just sort of bringing it up uh, pretty heavy in the mix just so you can hear it. Okay, so there's like sort of an XY type control here in the center. So up and down is the number of voices. Left and right is your stereo width. Um, let's hear this soloed. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. I feel for you, darling. Like instead of assigning this a percentage, assign this like a physical number of voices. Like one of the things I do like about uh, Avox Choir is that it tells you how many voices it's creating, 4, 8, 16, 32. This is a lot like a unison detuning effect in a synthesizer where you can take an oscillator and you add eight voices to it all in unison, slightly detune them, and you get this sort of multiplier type effect. Um, I do like that about Avox Choir, but what I will say is, uh, I mean, this pretty much does everything that Choir does but more, so I'm already very happy with it, but let's see how these uh, voices stack up here. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for I was just checking with my mono button to see what these sounded like in mono, and um, they actually sound really good in mono. Let me just uh, I'll put this in mono for you guys. You won't be able to hear my monitor controller, but if I throw the gain plug in after the effect, I can make this mono. So here's um, here's what just the effect sounds like, and I'll just hit the mono button a few times so you can hear what it sounds like when it's collapsed down to mono. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. I feel for you, darling. When we tear down all these walls, just stay right here by my side. I'm never gonna let you fall. I'm never gonna let you fade away. Some of the high air on the sides kind of disappears when you collapse it down to mono, but honestly, it's it's not that bad. I'm gonna go with a little more conservative setting, maybe something like this. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. 
You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. Okay, so on the right here, we have some post-processing effects. We have a vocal density effect, a saturation effect, uh, and a glue effect. So vocal density increases the perceived amount of voices by adding extra variation and separation. That's cool. Saturation is harmonic saturation. And glue is a compressor, so it compresses the voices to sort of control the dynamics of the extra multiplied voices. Now, with these off, nothing's gonna happen, but there's a few different options here. Subtle, normal, and dramatic for vocal density, but for saturation, you have different saturation types. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. Yeah, that's kind of like, it almost sounds like a second LFO or a second modulation effect. Uh, you got to be really careful about that, because otherwise it's just going to make your vocals sound like they're out of tune. Um, let's try the saturation. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. I feel for you, darling. Let's see what these sound like in the mix, and I'll pull in the glue as well. You've got it all, but you can't break free. Just sleep right there in your frozen state. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here. Let me try this on a different section of the song where there's like like maybe the hook of the song here and I'll sort of bring more of that plug-in into the mix. Just take it slow, give it time, what's another year, another life, tell me. Now, in this song, I also have some group uh, backing vocals here. They're just stacked backing vocals and harmonies. These are also going to bus three. So these are also going to the multiplier aux track. Let's see what these sound like. The lead vocals, the backing vocals, and the chorus. Don't tell me that you're faithless. Tell me that you feel less. I told you that we're running out of time. You know we've got to grow up, create the seeds and sow them. I told you that we're running out of time. And at the end here, I have even a, another set of backing vocals. I told you that we're running out of time. Yeah, I may not use that much of it in the mix, but it's a really nice addition. It really helps, like, thicken up those voices, and I mean, we're making ten voices, eight voices sound like a hundred, basically. Let's just solo the vocals. Here's with the effect. Fade away. I'm never gonna let you fall. I'm never gonna let you fade. Even if we lose it all, it's just more time to waste. And then without the effect... Let you fade away. I'm never gonna let you fall. I'm never gonna let you fade. Even if we lose it all. Yeah, without the effect, it's just a little too like dry and, and direct. With the effect, it's just this big, lush, creamy uh, group vocal. So I'm, I'm really loving this uh, so far. Let's check out the delay and reverb, which is, uh, I think that's that's all that's left. Um, let's check out the reverb first. We've got four different options, bright room, dark room, cathedral, outer space. Uh, let's try out the bright room. Fade away. I'm never gonna let you fall. I'm never gonna let you fade. Even if we lose it all, it's just more time to waste. Okay, so the decay time, if you pull it to the left, is a shorter reverb. If you pull it to the right, it's a longer reverb. Uh, and then, of course, the reverb amount is just the amount of the wet signal of the reverb. Again, with the decay, instead of a percentage, 
Kind of like with the voices, I'd much rather see a discrete number here, like what is the actual decay time of the reverb, but maybe that's something they can add to a future version. Let's try out the delay. We've got lo-fi slap, lo-fi eight quarter, tape eight, modern eight, and ping pong quarter. Don't tell me that you're faithless. Tell me that you feel less. I told you that we're running out of time. You know we've gotta grow up, create the seeds and sow them. I told you that we're running out of time. When it comes to thickening the, the vocal, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can do it the old school way with like a tape delay, like a slap, a quick slap back delay, or a couple quick slap back delays. You can do it with a chorus plugin, a, a modulation ensemble type plugin, or a multiplier like this. However, I really love the fact that you can choose a slap delay in here. Basically, what you're doing is you're getting all of your time-based effects covered in one plugin. So instead of creating four different auxes for four different time-based effects, you could, if you wanted to, just use this by itself and not have to split up all your time-based effects. Now, obviously, there are many situations where you'd want to split up your time-based effects, um, but I find this really, really helpful for um, you know for adding reverb, delay, um, modulation, pitch modulation, stereo width, and adding your chorus or ensemble or multiplier type effect. So uh, it's very, very helpful. I don't know that I will actually use the reverb on this, but everything else on here is is really incredible sounding, and uh, I'm really happy they reached out to me to uh, to try this out. So yeah, let's uh, let's give this a listen in the mix. Let me just kind of tame down the amount of this going on the lead vocal. I want more of it on the chorus vocals. You've broken down, but it won't break me. I'm here for you. I feel for you, darling. When we tear down all these walls, just stay right here by my side. I'm never gonna let you fall. I'm never gonna let you fade away. I'm never gonna let you fall. Just take it slow, give it time What's another year, another life? Tell me now, under the setting sun Cause when you finally wake up, I'll be gone Don't tell me that you're faithless Tell me that you feel less I told you that we're running out of So that is the Howard Benson Vocal Multiplier plugin from Joey Sturgis Tones. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.